and welcome to another Cheeky Girl Creations DIY video. So today I will be showing you how to do um, string pull art. I think that's the name of it. If not, um, please do put in the comments, but that's the name I found for it. So I made these two sheets and this is for my A5 planner. I'll give you a quick look at that. This is um, a folder from Flying Tiger and I always have like something arty to do in there so I use watercolors, washi tape I've used, um, this one was done with like stamp pads and ink blending and stuff um, I've used papers like in this one oops sorry I'll get it more in frame there for you um, and I've also used markers and these are my latest ones here. I really enjoyed making these actually. Um, I'm not much of a colorer so that was fun. And if you want to be able to see all of those weekly ones, um, please do follow me on my Instagram and my Facebook um, page and join my Facebook group as well where we all sh share our like creative processes and stuff. And that's where you can see all the behind scenes and my um, weekly planner spreads. So. These will become future planner spreads. I just didn't want to put any of like the boxes or anything on them yet to show you. And this one I made with the string pointing this way and pulling it through there. And then this one I made with the string pulling through that way. So I'll show you how to do both of these. And I thought I'd also do a little bit of experimentation um, to see if maybe I can create more than one layer. So I have some pre-folded pages um, for the planner. Sorry if I sound a bit snuffly, um, it's hay fever season so my nose is a little bit blocked. Um, and I'll be using some inks. So these are some, this is some drawing ink from like, the works. Um, I just have a little bit left over. This was from like the mixed media box, the September one actually. So if you um, have the September box, pull out the ink that you got in there and you can do some with that. Um, I also have some calligraphy ink, um, this is by Windsor Newton, and it's a six pack, black's in here, um, so I might use that because I don't have any green in the big ones, or red, or brown actually, so that will be quite nice to use. Um, I also have some in here, which is pretty much the same colours, the yellow is just a little bit different. Um, I'm not sure where this is by. Oh, Co. I know. I hope I say that right. I'm not sure. Um, this is just some small drawing inks as well. And then I also have some paint here because I thought I wanted to see if um, I watered this down, if I could use paint as well, which will be useful for you guys who don't have um, ink. Oh, and as well, you should be able to use food coloring. So. I'll pick out some of the colours that I don't have um, in my inks. It's really purple I don't have, so this is, actually no sorry, this is ink as well. One moment, actually I'll keep that out because I want to use purple. Um, let me get an ink, some food colouring. I think I will use this orange. Yes, okay, so I'll use this orange, this is food colouring, this is ink as well actually, I mix my pink and my blue together to get purple, so that's what I'll be using, oh and as well as some string, and this is just some quite thick string, not sure where I got it from, somebody just gave this to us um, to use, and I thought I would also maybe try it with some yarn, um, because this made quite dainty like lily looking flowers, but maybe the yarn might create something a little bit um, bigger or something like that. Well anyway, it's all just experimentation. So I'll do a couple using the um, thread first. So I've pre-folded the page because I just thought that would be easier. Let me see, I think I'll use this ink first and I'll try to keep my string to like a particular colour. I don't really want to cross contaminate my inks. If I was pouring this into like a separate palette, oops I just splashed, um, I wouldn't mind so much but since I'm not I want to be quite careful. So it's really simple, there's not really that much 
into it. I'm just going to dip this all in. And I'm going to mostly do this in um, real time because it's quite simple. I might speed some stuff up if I find it might be taking a bit too long for you guys. Um, so let me just get that in one second. It's a bit tricky because it's a bit smaller than the big inks. Oh, and if you're wondering where to find those mixed media boxes, I will link that in the description below. And the June box, by the time this video is out, should be launched. So do check that out as well. Um, and you can also get a mix, uh, like a multiple subscription box order as well, if you like. And the more boxes you add to your order, the more you save. So please do check those out in the description. So, right, so I'm just putting that out now. And I'm just going to, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to go over the crease. I did that before on one of my other pages and I didn't quite like how that turned out. And I'm just going to wind it about just in a little pattern. Nothing specific really. You fold that over, you apply some pressure, then you pull on the end. Okay. You can see it kind of coming through here. And there we are. That's quite cool. So it's like a butterfly effect, but with string and pulling it out. So it's not like a splodge. You can actually get a design, which is really nice. And that's done with the ink. And this paper isn't like the best. Um, it's only like 120 GSM or something. So it would come through, but that's all right. It's just for my planner, so it doesn't really matter too much. So you can see that looks really cool. So... I do want to keep it quite light because it's my planner. I will be writing in it. Um, let me see. What colour should I do next? I don't have any green. So I'll do that with this ink here. And I'm not really waiting for it to dry. Um, it dries quite quickly actually. I guess because it's such a thin layer. Um, and it's just pulled. Yeah, it's just a really thin layer. So I'll do that. Oh, I'll... I can actually use this spray bottle here because that has the same ink as that one there. So first I'll do green. easy that you can do this with your kids as well um one of my mum's friends she actually tagged me to oh that's quite interesting look at that so that's quite dark so you can see you get you can't really like replicate what you've made which is nice so yeah um one of my mum's friends tagged me to a post with somebody doing this um and she said that her youngest, who is a toddler, did that in preschool. So you can really do it with anybody because it's just so simple and easy and it's really fun to do. Funny one actually. String was going all over the place with that one. And I do kind of want one in the middle. So I'm going to take the um, orange food colouring just to show you that you can use that as well. And you can see that these are much lighter than this one because this is just a strong ink. But when I make sprays, I do tend to water down my, my inks. Uh, most um, Two reasons. One, it means that they won't clog up as fast because now that everything's just a lot lighter really to go through the, the spray and to um, just to save my inks because the Windsor Neutral ones are quite expensive um, I'm not sure where the Co I Know ones come from oh gosh that really sounds like I butchered that name um, that was a gift for me f for Christmas
And so that's food colouring um, and inks used on this one. I'm not sure if that was actually a good idea to put the orange there, but anyway. So that's that there. So I'll just put that aside to dry and that'll dry quite quickly. And the nice thing with this is because the paper's not very like thick, it doesn't really deal well with wet medium, but this is just in a few areas and it's not really soaking in that much. So you can you really don't have to have like good quality paper to do this. So let's see, what should I do now? I think I will water this down. So I'm just going to put this on my surface. What's happened is I've used the string that I used with the green ink and it's overpowered the purple. So I'm going to get cut a new piece of string and I'm going to try this again. This pink colour is actually from the December box as well. Um, if you want to check that out. Let me see if I can get this to work. I'm sure it should work. I think it's just because the ink, right? And this is obviously a very good way of showing you that it doesn't matter how experienced you are and how long you've been doing art, you still make mistakes, especially when you're trying something new. So let's see, did this work? Oh, well, you see, there you are. Okay, that looks really weird. <laughs> This is this is what I'm like in real time, guys. That's why I speed it up most of the time. Um, let me see. I might do that again because I'm not I'm not really liking that shape. So I'll try that again. I wonder if I can. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Let's see. Let's try that again. Okay. And while I'm pulling this up, I'm just using the spatula. <laughs> to just press it down to get rid of any like excess liquid okay let's see let's try this again okay a little bit better okay so you can use acrylic paint um I think you just have to try to, it's a little bit trickier I think with the acrylic paint, um, but you can use it. I think the string was just too wet with this one, but you can see like the streaks here are a lot better, sorry I'll hold it with this hand, the streaks here are a lot better, a bit like the ink ones, because that's just like the string pulling down and those are the fibres making those marks, I'll put, put it up closer. <laughs> So yeah, um, this I think would look really nice on like some cards and stuff. So hmm, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to use up some of that um, paint that's dry because I do like to decorate the front of my um, planning pages. So. Of course I don't have anything to fold over so I'm just going to have to get like a scrap piece of paper. Yeah. This is some packaging. So I'll use, I could use this side yeah, just to be able to hold it and pull it down. And I like to like write the month so I think what I'm going to try to do is have it just maybe them starting here and like write the month there so let me just get I've mixed up the threads <laughs> yep this is exactly why I fast forward because there's a lot of this happening faffing a lot of faffing well I'm just going to use this one and hope for the best it looks like it has pink on it so shouldn't really make too much of a difference 
I like that green ink. Okay. And this is slowly drying out, so we're going to see if, um, with the acrylic paint, if it will look better. If it's a little bit drier, because I did put a quite a bit of water on there. Um, oh, and of course you can use watercolours, because, you know, watercolours are closer to inks than acrylics are. Oh, that's a bit higher than I wanted. That's alright. So yeah, feel free to use watercolours, you just have to like really like mix it up and get quite a lot of liquid there and then you should be able to um, try that. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. Oh, so that's okay. That's quite cool. I'm gonna... Yeah. Okay, so... Again, it looks kind of weird. Not like... The, um, the inks. So I think inks are better, but if you just want to try this out just for fun, then feel free to use paint. Yeah, I'm going to try that again. I keep on... I want it to work. I want it to work like how I want it to work. So I'm keep on giving it a second chance just to see if that works. And then I think once I've done that, and I'm, again I'm going to hold the spatula... The, the, the palette knife, sorry, on it there. To see if maybe removing some of the liquid works. Okay, so let's try this again. I'm trying to use the clean side of it. Okay. Oops. Okay. Eh. Okay, so... <laughs> I don't know why. It's not working. That's a pain. I think the best one I got really was this one. Maybe it does need to be more watered down so it's not as thick. I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, you can really use anything. I say give it a go. Um, feel free to give it a go. I'm just gonna... Because this is not the prettiest. I will wait for this to dry. Then I'll go over with some ink. To try to hide the fact that this did not go very well. And I'm just going to add some to the edges. Um, but yeah, just experiment with it. Um, I'm going to do some cards with this now. So I'm going to shut off the camera. I'm going to finish off edging this up, trying to make the hot mess look better. And then I will come back and I'll have some cards to try out with you. Okay, so before I start the cards, I just really wanted to try something out. I wanted to see if I could do more than one at the same time. So, I'm going to get three colours. You see, even when I don't place the string nicely, it works really well with inks. I'm going. I'm. I'm not going to give up yet on the acrylic, but inks are definitely easier to use. So if you don't have inks, use food coloring. And there we are. So that's really cool. This is actually really cool. Doesn't actually look like a proper flower, but I like it. This one looks a bit odd, but I like that too. So I'm just. I just wanted to work fast though, because when I was trying it out the foot for the first time yesterday well it won't be yesterday by the time this video comes up but anyway um the paper kept on sticking together but yeah that's really cool so again this will just be another um weekly spread oh don't close that okay so since that works so beautifully i'm going to do that on a card 
could probably put this card on some paper to protect the back, but I'm not going to. totally just cut that and put that on a card as well so I'm just gonna leave that I'm not gonna do anything else on that so there you are probably should have put something in between got a little bit of ink on the inside don't even know if you can see it. it's very small so yeah so then you can do that then you can maybe I would splash a bit of color because it's still quite blank should I do that now I'm letting myself get distracted I'll do that now I'm just going to use this liner brush because it's small and I could get into the bottles. And I should move everything else to protect it, but I won't because that's how I work. <laughs> Extremely messily and unorganized. So there we are, there's some splashes in there. So you can see that automatically looks better. And get some orange. Again, I'm doing more splats at the top than the bottom. Because the bottom already really has something there. Let's splat that. It's very good. <laughs> and then a little bit of the pink. And I'm not like the brush isn't extremely loaded. I'm just I am putting it in and then just scraping it off the edge. I don't want big huge splats, just want quite little dainty ones. And there we are. Look at that. A nice card then you can like have the sentiment there you're thinking of you thank you happy birthday so that's a really nice simple design I'm just going to uh, splat someone here because I think I will use this actually because this is looks really nice I like how it's as if um because this is kind of glossy this was like some from some packaging and it's as if the glossiness makes it move a lot smoother on like say the matte surfaces because this looks a bit like these pages here which are tad glossy but this one is like this is cardstock so it's quite matte and you can see that so it's moved easier on the glossy surface than it has on the matte one so that's something else to take in consideration if that matters to you because if you want to make this smooth look then you need like a glossy kind of card stock or something um, I wonder what this will look like like say if you had alcohol inks and then you did this on acetate because then the alcohol ink would stick to the acetate so I wonder what that would look like I don't have any alcohol inks no, I don't have any alcohol inks, which is a shame, a bit of a pain, but if any of you do, and you do, like, try this out, please do, like, share, like, if you're on Instagram, tag me, and if you're on Facebook, join my Facebook group, all those social links are below, um, and then I can see what it looks like, because I would love to see what that would look like with alcohol inks, and as well, would the alcohol inks, like, dry too fast for it to work out? So like, if you try that out, please let me know. I would love to see that. All right, so that's already happened. So you can see it's picking up a lot of ink. Okay, I've tried to put it in a nice design to help it out because that looks really juicy okay let's press that down pull that through I'm pulling it through quite slowly okay oh boy that was a lot of ink okay so maybe you are not so much I'm going to do that again since I've removed some ink already so you can see how the paper reacts when there's a lot of liquid on there. Not great. Let's see if this will do anything. Oh, yep, yeah, it has done something. Okay. A little bit of change. I'm just going to keep on going, really, until this dries up. I also don't like to see even numbers on my stuff. 
Um, so I will put this in here. Oh no, this will still make an even number though. Because it's pressed up, it's going to make six. Oh, that's alright. There's uneven numbers on each. Yeah, that was a little bit more interesting. Okay, so that's what it's like with yarn. Um, not amazing. I must say, it doesn't have any of the detail. Um, I mean, I could try going again because that one does have a little bit more of like the detail, but I'm not actually sure if that's going to show through. Let's see. No, not really. Okay, so that's what it looks like with yarn. So I would say thin thread like this, not furry. Um, so a nice like smooth thread, if that makes any sense at all, um, would work better with that. Um, I'm going to see what that looks like with paint. I might as well see if that looks any good. All right, let me see. gonna use it with inks don't go straight into the ink pot um, just maybe like pour out a little bit because that looks a bit better um, and then like say if you're doing something where you really do want it to look a certain way do like the first one there because you can see that one doesn't have any detail <laughs> but then if you maybe do like so that one like on a scrap piece of paper then continue on that was the second second one and then like this third one fourth one fifth one yeah I think I got that in the right order so that's what that looks like so that's yarn and paint yarn and ink still not too bad just not as dainty and then I'm running out of drying space and then ink on like a glossy surface very nice ink on a uh, matte porous surface also very nice I love how this one looks that's really cool so you can see the difference there oops sorry uh, try to get in frame that's the difference um, and then we have ink on a slightly glossy surface not exactly the same as say this one <laughs> But um, still very nice. I love how that looks there. It really does look like the insides of a petal. Um, <laughs> string with paint. Not the prettiest. Oops, oops, oops. Oh, we're sticking together. We're sticking together. And then you can see the difference between watered down ink, not watered out ink, and then food coloring there. Um, this is the better side of acrylic and string, not too bad, um, not as much better than the front cover, still not as good as the ink. And I'm going to do one more thing because why not, I'm already this deep in, might as well. I'm going to do another card, but this time I want to do it on craft. interesting oh look that's pretty okay so it's not very dark so like you can't really oh I'm gonna I can't seem to get it on the camera where you can't see it but look that's really pretty actually so maybe that's good to like add a subtle text like subtle image and then maybe like maybe add a focal image or something that's really pretty actually I do like that 
Okay, I'm going to do it. So this is diluted. Let's see what that looks like. Non-diluted. And you can also see what it looks like on the glossy paper. You can see it a tad. Okay, so non-diluted. I like the diluted one more a lot more that kind of looks like I've made more than one and you can see that I have quite a bit there so I'm just going to maybe stamp that because I do like threes on my cards so yeah Okay, so that is very shiny. I like the diluted one better. The result I find on that one is a little bit better. I'm just going to quickly try to just press there. See if I get anything at all. Okay. yeah I got a little something okay so that's an interesting result and it definitely looks better diluted so I'm going to quickly try the gold I think I'll just try it on this one anyway um, unlike this one which I can just quickly add a sentiment on I think I might just use this for something else, um, maybe cover that up a little bit. Because I'm not, I like how it looks on there, but I'm not a huge fan of how it looks. Now with this one, the sediment always settles at the bottom. But I think that might be good, because as you can see with, where it wasn't diluted, it was quite overpowering. So maybe that won't be too much of a bad thing. So let me just get... New piece of string. Okay. Oh, cool. Well, so that's the metallics. Um, I think that would look really cool with white ink. Now I need to find white ink. Oh dear. Um, okay, so yeah, I've had a lot of fun um, making these up. I may, I'm going to do the front pages for the weekly ones I've done. So I may or may not film it. Um, but if I do, it'll all just be in fast, um, fast forwarded, and which just some music on. Um, there will be close ups of everything at the end of the video. Um, some photos that looks really good there and yes yeah, so if you enjoyed the video please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already um, and don't forget to click that bell next to the subscription button um, that will then notify you whenever I upload a video I think it does work because I get notified whenever somebody else uploads a video whoever I'm subscribed to so yes, um, thanks again for watching. If you try it out, please do share um, on the on social media and tag me. I really would love to see it. And put down in the comments if you've done this before and what you've found has worked. Um, I found out that inks work the best, for me anyway. If you've found a way to make acrylics work, please do share. Because as you can see, I'm very desperate to see how it does work. So yeah, so thanks again for watching. I hope you join me again for another arty video and I'll see you again in another video. Bye!